They'll be going through the Earnhardt Technology start zone towards the Gorsuch green flag. We're underway. The southbound throwdown presented by EarthTech for the Hunt the Front Super Dirt Series at All Tech Raceway. Down the back straight away. Your leaders will work into turns number three and four. We're watching it here. The Fergusons will battle. Well, yeah, this is going to be fun. The Fergusons will battle. Carson Ferguson out front. Here comes Chris Ferguson. Looking at the 10 car, the 93 and the 22. Top three battling for that top position. All right, look at Joyner out front. We're going to keep our eyes on this battle here. Right behind them, you can see the car on your screen. Corey Hedgecock working the high side of the racetrack. That's going to come in. Now Corey's down to the bottom. There's Hedgecock, Bloomquist, and Brandon Overton. Overton into Wells Motorsports entry, looking to capitalize here tonight. Last night finished third, looking to do a little bit better. Bloomquist with a little luck on the bottom here tonight. He's going to work that bottom line, Lenny, all race long. How neat is it? Bloomquist ain't backing up. He's going forward, going after him. And young Corey Hedgecock, the Tennessee driver, battling with the Tennessee legend, trying to put a Tennessee whooping on the boys. Down the back straightaway, yeah. Bloomer and Hedgecock into corner three. Yeah, as you mentioned, two Tennesseans right there battling it out for position. Bloomquist is going to like that bottom all race long. It's been his, it's just where he races all the time. He'll make it work. Corey Hedgecock right up in the high. He gets into the wall. Hedgecock collects it back after sparking. Turns number two. That's a bad spot right there. Oh, yeah. And Corey Hedgecock's a driver that can, knows how to calculate his way around here, but he just messed some of the ditches. Yeah, lap traffic is uh, playing into this one right now. Carson Ferguson running him down just a little bit quicker that last lap. Joseph Joyner is going to have to get by the, tw the two car, Bo Slay. And Slay is not rolling over for the Crosstown uh, friend, yeah. Joseph Joyner. Bo Slay, you know, and, and I, I appreciate that. I respect that, you know, Bo probably can look out the corner of his eye and tell that that's Joseph trying to get around him. But you're going to have to work it like everybody else. And now Joyner does grab some uh, great traction coming out of the corner and put Slay behind him. Yeah, he was able to get a bike down low there and charge past Bo Slay. Bo's got a fast car. You see Mark Fleischer right there in front of him. Fleischer uh, just trying to keep from going a lap down. The Earnhardt Technologies restart zone and see the Gorsuch performance green flag. Joyner on the loud pedal coming out of corner number two. Oh. Joe Kelly, they're on it. Yeah. Black Sunshine, what a power move right there around Carson Ferguson. Here comes Brandon Overton. Oh, Overton sticking the nose in the mix right here. And look at Sam C right back there. You're going to see him in your screen in just a minute. But right there, we've got a battle, man. This thing is shaping up to be a good one. Halfway down now, halfway to go. Joiner with Bloomquist behind him. Last night's winner, Carson Ferguson in third. And you're right, Sam C right. He's got himself a good little piece right now. If he can make his way on up, he's looking to get around Chris Ferguson and Lincoln to North Carolina as we look back to Trent Ivey and the 14 of Will Harrington. Back behind Tyler Millwood, some of the young stars in the field and a big gouge on the side of the 14. Scott Bloomquist has closed that gap. It's, a, it's kind of a python thing where it's just wrapping himself closer and closer and closer, like watching the eclipse <laughs> as it went across slowly till black sunshine was all we saw. I think, I think what we got right here, Joseph Joyner out front turning a 19-2. Scott Bloom was just a little bit quicker behind him with a 19-0. I do think it's going to take a little lap traffic if Bloomquist is going to be able to pass Joyner. And is probably better than anybody in the game at being second in this type of condition. Yeah, it's going to be a, a, a show of shows. As, oh, Joyner almost chopped by Mullinex. Six laps to go. The moment not too big for Joseph Joyner. Yeah, as you had said, he's won major races here before at All Tech Raceway. Yeah. He's five and a half laps away from a $15,000 Hunt the Front Super Dirt Series win. He would love it. Can he do it? Handful of laps. 
Handful of laps to go. All he's got to do is maintain what he's doing right now. If we don't get a caution, oh, 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 and there it is. There you go. The announcer's jinx. I, I you told rascal. You. Just nope. tell that that right rear tire. Brandon Overton and Chris Ferguson in through the Earnhardt Technology start zone. The Gorsuch green flag waves and Joseph Joyner off like a scalded dog. He wants out of there. Yeah, Joyner with a great start. Here comes Bloomquist down the back straight away with a surge of power. Scott Bloomquist stalking your leader. Car number 10, Joseph Joyner. Laps are winding down here at Alltech Raceway tonight. Four laps remaining. Two miles, right? Yes, two That's miles. all there is for Bloomquist to catch or Joyner to hang on. Joseph Joyner leading here from Alltech Raceway, coming to the Barrons, one to go in the Hunt the Front Super Dirt Series. The Earth Tech southbound throwdown. The leader flashing by start finish line. The beautifully prepared Alltech Raceway rising to the driver and rising to the occasion from Milton, Florida. Hunt the front in the lead of the Hunt the Front Super Dirt Series. The Earth Tech southbound throwdown winner will be Milton, Florida's Joseph Joyner. Behind him, the legend Scott Bloomquist. Carson Ferguson finishes third, Brandon over in fourth. We're gonna go talk to the top three. He'll make his way to the front straight away. It looks like we might get a donut out of it. How about that? Nice job. Coming out of the car, let's welcome Joseph Joyner! Southbound throwdown winner, Joseph Joyner. We await the conversation with a driver that just put on an outstanding show. Joseph, come on over here. Look at that race car. Clean and all the way to the finish. You beat the legend Scott Bloomquist to take your first 2024 win in the series. What was it like, those laps as they wound down and he even got a caution with five to go? Yeah, I seen the board there. Uh, Scott was behind us. I knew I, I, I knew I couldn't miss my mark here in this uh, old thing rubber down there. We kind of might thought it would, but heck, the, the track was the same speed on lap time all night long, so we really didn't know. But we were kind of at least prepared with, with our tire choice for, for if it did uh, lane up like that. And uh, man, we just was able to get the jump on Carson there on the start of this deal and uh, just hit our marks and lap traffic fell right for us. And my gosh, man, uh, it's, <laughs> I don't think I've took a breath in 30 minutes, I don't feel like, so. Uh. That celebration had to feel good. What is that release like when you've done it, you come burning out of the tech area and you get to do all that? How does that feel? We go to Talladega with this uh, opener deal and it's like just pure suck and don't really have a, <laughs> A plan of getting any better you know and it's kind of looking like hey this this season's liable to just be one of those you you want to get through and forget and then uh you know the whole team kind of sets down and <laughs> hold up <laughs> <laughs> they got a good driver and they knew it and they put all together you're up there jesse enterkin waving those sticks at you what what did you feel as you knew his smile kept growing as wide as those sticks were i just knew that if i uh caught the lap traffic wrong and they were on me and somebody was able to get a run, it was going to be all over. So I just kind of did my best to leave a gap. And if somebody slipped out, I was, I did my best to kind of be there and fill the hole and all that worked out. But man, the, the whole team here, like it's, uh, like I said, we go to Talladega the other week and don't really have a plan of getting better. And we all sit down and <laughs> decided how important the race team is and what we do. And it's just, I mean, I'm so blessed to be the guy that gets to, to be the hunt the front guy and drive this car. And I know we just want to race in the rubber. Like, who, you know, who cares really? We lined up in a line and didn't mess up. Right. But I mean, should we, we just, you know, who cares? You know, like, look, who, look at who's all here, man. Like, we, we were fast all night or all weekend, run good, and miss, just missed it in the feature last night and made a bad call. Uh, Everybody on the team improved, the driver improved, and you got here to hunt the front. Victory lane, Arizona sports shirts, victory lane. This moment's big. You got a lot of people that helped you. Yeah, no doubt. Like, there's... So many people, I can't think of all. There's no way, but I'll try. Uh, that Langenfelder Mechanical Contractors, we sure wouldn't be here without all their support. They do a lot for us. Uh, base Racing Fuel helps us out, and Trading Paints, all our product sponsors here, uh, FK Rod Ends, Kinzer Air Filters, K uh, Quartermaster, Five Star Bodies, Weir's Machine, KRC Power Steering, uh, Schoenfeld Headers, Excess Batteries, ATC Bolts, Stealth Carburetors, QA1 Drive Shaft, 
Let me get make sure I get it. Uh, <laughs> AFCO Racing Products, Earnhardt Technologies, Dirt Track Bank. Like, we got a whole slew of folks that are behind us. And like I said, we're, we're completely blessed to just be able to do this, to be up front and have a competitive team when we show when we go out and put it all together like we did this weekend. And Well, don't know. change anything. And we'll see you at Smoky Mountain in a couple weeks. Yeah, I guess we'll keep on. <laughs> <laughs> Joseph Joyner, your winner here at the Earth Tech Southbound Throwdown. We're going to wander over and capture some conversation with our second place driver, Scott Bloomquist. And dang, that was a fast night for you, Scott. How'd it feel? Oh, <laughs> uh, you know, not too bad. Uh, you know, we we had a little bit of, you know, I mean, my foot got a little numb on me, but it's still, we're getting better. And I, you know, I think this just kind of shows everybody that, you know, like I said, I'm sure we're not dead yet. We got some, <laughs> we got a lot of wins to come, so. Uh, you and they're know, coming we, to your Tennessee next uh, time we do this in two weeks, right? Yes, yes, we'll be up there for that race for sure. And, you know, it's, it's, it's sitting out. You know, these tires are different. These guys have all had a couple of years running them. And, you know, we just had to, had to learn a little bit about them, you know, and the car setup stuff. You know, things always advance, and, you know, we're just playing catch-up. And uh, let's let's hope it ain't gonna take any any long or much longer to get in victory lane. Only one more spot. Scott Bloomquist finishes runner up at the Earth Tech Southbound Throwdown here at All Tech Raceway. Third place going to last night's winner, Carson Ferguson. You finished behind a legend and a guy that really had it handled up front. What what could you have done different? I uh, just chose the top. He schooled me <laughs> on the start. Uh, I knew I had a feeling, you know it. I should have chose the top, but with it being Scott, I was like, I'm, I'll play it safe, and uh, he, he just got me. We'll see you up at Smoky Mountain in two weeks. Yeah, uh, we'll, we'll see. We don't know what, we're, what our plans are. Um, but I just got to thank our whole team, uh, Scott, Nick, Kyle, uh, my girlfriend, McKenna, for coming, Donald Gina Bradshaw, Wesley Page, um, just all our great sponsors. Uh, I think we had a really good car all weekend. Uh, I don't really – don't really know the thought on why we didn't go try to rework the track there. It was really clean and rub get, starting to rubber in the heat races. But, um, you know, we, we took what they gave us and uh, salvaged a podium out of it. Always a smooth run from the Rolex, making it work every time. Carson Ferguson, your third place driver in the Earth Tech Southbound Throwdown. But for all of you out there, from all of us at the Hunt the Front Super Dirt Series and Hunt the Front TV, we will see you in two weeks at Smoky Mountain. Going to have a Tennessee time up there. I can't wait for you all to join us. We'll go back up to the booth and we'll check out these Crown Vicks from Trackside. I'm Lenny Baticki, HuntTheFront.tv.